So we've been working a little bit with our own color and stuff and how to change brightness and contrast. I'm going to delete a few of these things though. And I don't want you to, to go without knowing that you've got some other really cool stuff to work with. I'm going to delete this video. I don't want you getting bored with this piece of video. <laughs> let's see. What do we got here? Okay, I got some snow. Uh, let's see. That's what I got here in the snow. This is me doing a, a demo, just walking around in my yard looking at some icicles and stuff. Let's see if we can find a good little piece of video here where I can show in, showing something kind of cool. Okay, so here I walk down a snowy road. I'm going to put uh, an end point here. We're going to play forward a little bit. So this might be this might be something like out of uh, out of The Shining or something. You got a crazy guy and he's walking around it, and and we want to, this to look a little bit different. And uh, we'll, so we'll we'll try a little bit here with this. Change sequence settings. Yeah, okay. Let's say I want this to look day for night, right? So I've shot this during the day, but I want it to be at night time. You got this whole section of here called Lumetri Looks. Maybe you've already seen it and started wanting to play with it. If you spin down on it, you should have your looks in there. Oh, I see what's happening. If you got something typed in here, it's not going to work. <laughs> so be sure you're clear up here. Pull down your Lumetri Looks. And here we got, we got cinematic desaturation style temperature. Let's look at what's in here. Here's day for night. I'm going to pull day for night onto this and let's see what we got. See, it does look kind of like nighttime, right? We got this video here, the, the bad guys walking through the night in the snow, right? Look at this. Ooh, that's scary. So this is pretty cool. Now, this might be a bad piece of video for me to use. It'd be good if we had some daylight video again. Uh, once again, maybe we do the Crabtree Falls again here. I need to pull some different video in, I guess. But this is pretty nice, isn't it? So here's some of my Crabtree Falls video. We'll show a little bit of this, and there's some of my friends and relatives uh, walking around. I'll pull this video down here as well. We got this muted. So let's say we want this to really look different. You can go through here, you can try different uh, effects. Pull this, pull these things over on here and see. There's bleach bypass. I'm gonna do a control Z to undo that. Bleach bypass two. And so you see what's happening here. It's just kind of doing uh, the same sorts of things you see on cinema type things. If you pull this out, you can see it'll give you a little bit of an example of what it's going to do. Cinematic one is going to give it kind of a, rich, a richness of color here. I just did an auto save. Cinematic one, I'll pull it on there. Ooh, well, that looks kind of wild. Is it not quite what I thought it was going to do? But it, uh, you see what happens. It totally changes the look and feel, control Z, of what you're doing, the compression one. What does this do? And it's, it's subtle differences. And listen, you can still use these in, in uh, you can actually m multiply. You could, we could add sepia on top of that, I think. Look at that. I, I've got compression one. If I go to effects control, I've got two Lumetri uh, video effects here. So you look here, this looks like old timey. Maybe we're talking about hiking back in, in the, the 1800s. And we could have these guys wearing prospector hats or something, right? And they're going to get ready to do some uh, prospecting for gold or whatever. So we can delete these things by clicking on them up here. Or you can do your control Z to undo. But you just typically just click on things and delete them. So there's all kinds of stuff down in here. And it's Lumetri looks. You get in here under style. I don't know. Back in the day. What does that What does that mean? You have to page down to see some of these dreams. Let's say you want, to, you want a person to think they're dreaming back to those old days. Or let's try let's control Z that one. Maybe we go to 70s one, what looked like a piece of 70s video, kind of washed out. And that is what old film back in the 70s used to look like. Now, once again, let's say you like, kind of like this, but you really wish your greens would pop out. You can still go over here and click Fast Color Corrector. So let's pull Fast Color Corrector onto this. And we can still go in here and do our saturation deal again. We can saturate those greens on up. You know what, if we wanted to change a little bit of our uh, gain or black level or something, and we can go in here, we can monkey a little bit of these things to brighten them up. Now, we're, I'll go over what all this stuff over here does, these things. Right now, go ahead and start playing with input and output levels, and you'll start, just, you'll start to see kind of what things these do, uh, you know, kind of how you can brighten things and pull them out of the shadows. You know, to me, it looks a little bit better than what we had before, and we can maybe even saturate that just a little bit more. So we're creating a just a... Uh, a depth of color uh, that and, and different, I guess, alterations of these Lumetri looks, and so this is once again a sky's the limit with color with color variations. Um, Lumetri looks down here again. Let's go back out of fast and temperature. 
let's say we want it to be, I don't know, a little bit colder looking or something, cold mix it says. So we've got now, we have three levels of effect on this. We've got fast color correct, correct, correction, we've got Lemetri 70s, and we've got cold mix. As you pull these things around to different areas, you pull this one down here, it changes the look a little bit, right? What it's done, it's re, uh, it's sort of reordered what you're doing to the pieces of video. So you can you can even mess around with the, the sequence in which these videos are affected. That looks kind of cool. And if I want to turn all these off and say, you know, I kind of would like to see what it looked like without all that, I can turn all these off and there we are back to the original. So you can do some very dramatic things with color using the Lumetri looks and the other adjustment tools that are available to you in Premiere Pro.